NBA, the Spurs Thunder last night saw 14 lead changes and three ties. The Spurs' biggest lead was 14 in the third quarter, which they would lose. OKC comes back to win 107-102. Now the Spurs will get five days off thanks to the All-Star game. Yeah, I think just the rest of uh, staying, staying in shape, you know, so you can get in your gyms or whatever, uh, condition everything, just keep your body right because when we come back, uh, it's going to be go time and it's going to be really, really important. Uh, you know, obviously it feels good to be on the winning side, you know, as far as the first half of the season, but, you know, the second half of the season is going to be really important. In boys high school basketball, Jordan 10 will face Santa Rosa in the regional semifinals tonight. Head coach Truman Reagan said the Indians haven't been to the regional tournament since 2008. Jordan 10 is 21 and one and led by 10 seniors. Coach said they all love each other and compete to the fullest. But it was sophomore Clyde Schuhart who hit the biggest bucket of the game Saturday against Marion, draining this corner three with six seconds left, helping Jordan 10 edge out Marion 54 53 in round three. Here's big shot Schuhart on his game winner. We had a play drawn up and uh, it didn't work out. And uh, Peyton took the ball and then I just spaced out for him and knocked down the shot. Clyde said his first thought after that bucket was they still have six seconds to go and they have to play defense. Jordan 10 will play Santa Rosa tonight. The Warriors are 15 and three and they open the playoffs with a 66 58 win against San Diego. Santa Rosa, they are, they've been in the regional tournament before, so they're going to be a, a good team. Any team that's made it this far is a good team, so it's respectable and they're quick and so, but I think we're prepared. They're quick. Uh, they got some. They got some good players on their team. Very respectable. Uh, got a lot of speed, but I think we're pre prepared for them. They're a very similar team. Uh, they they play fast. They can shoot the ball from anywhere. They got a, a, a really good big man down low, and these guys are going to press uh, the entire game, whether they're up by 20, down by 20. So we got to stay on our toes uh, the entire game. Jernton will take on Santa Rosa in the Class 3A Regional Semifinals tonight at 8 at Northside Sports Gym. Take it around Rock for the Taps Boys Soccer Division 3 Championship between John Paul II and Dallas Covenant this morning. Night strike first in the 10th minute. Elliot Curlin just sneaks a shot past the keeper and it's 1-0 Dallas Covenant. Your halftime score. Second half, Guardians putting on the pressure. Oscar Bernal Jr. with the shot. There's a juicy rebound out front, but goalkeeper Kyler Zach recovers to make a great stop. Then midway through the second half, JP2 with another great chance. Bernal's shot trickles on goal, but Jonathan Kern slides his leg out for the goal line save, and that's the closest JP2 would get. The Guardians come up short in the title game this morning. 1-0 is the final. And right now, JP2, the girls are facing the Covenant out of Dallas for the TAPS D3 state crown. JP2 looking to repeat. And this afternoon at 2, team I will play Legacy Christian from Frisco for the boys' D2 state hardware. And wearing that goalie out. I know, right? Busy. <laughs> yeah. Earning his lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> and we are have earned our lunch, too. On uh, SA Live, looks like they've got something well. cooking. Oh, yes. We've got dessert right here. Wait, do you see what we have for lunch? <laughs> but look at all of these goodies right here. Yes. And it's from... Lauren Cuevas Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice Baby. is joining us today. And Mike, you have this fun little combination in the cup because that's what it's all about there, right? All about these little items, putting them together. You said all Tastes that goes amazing. together, right? It's amazing. Okay. He's going to try it. I'll put it on a manganata, but here. Uh. Yes! <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> the whole thing is that these all go together very nicely. So Mike's giving it a try now. We're going to make some manganadas on the show. How is it? Putting the hot Cheetos in there. All right. <laughs> and also over at the zoo, something else to do. If you are heading out for spring break over there, they have Jungle Boogie underway. Animals, good family fun. And Fiona will take us there. All right, you've seen it being built over the past couple of years, the new Thompson Hotel right there on St. Mary's and the restaurant and uh, land race. Look, Look at, at some of this food. We are going to be making some of these wonderful dishes. Want to make reservations? Better call now because, boy, they are booked up. And to wash it down, they have cocktails as well. And Mike, you got to make, you're going to get to make some here with them as well. And for our social question today, movies. OK, <laughs> what are the movies when you go through the list, you see them and you'll watch it no matter what? Yes, Let that's us coming up on SA Live. Stay with us. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. 
Well, we already are at 81 degrees, so I went and bumped up our high temperature to 85 this afternoon. Not record breaking heat, but definitely warm. We'll be quite a bit cooler tomorrow with morning clouds and afternoon sunshine. It's still going to be a beautiful weekend, though, uh, as temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s. Now, looking ahead in the week, it's going to be pretty mild, and we will have morning drizzle on Monday. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. Remember the question, where's the beef? I think we know. You saw it. <laughs> that tomahawk steak looked pretty good. All right, let's see how it tastes. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. I just discovered that I may have a son here in this land. How much child support is she getting from? The king pays no child support. No child support for 30 years and you came back? You was a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course, that's a clip from Coming to America. Part two, the, yes. The, the yes, sequel to yes. Coming to America. And it uh, opens today, I today, believe. Today, yeah. yes. Happy Friday. I'm glad we're starting with that. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky in for Fiona. And I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and uh, so we're always talking about movies. And, you know, when it comes on TV, what's the one movie that you just watch over and over and over again? What is it? I, I have to say it is coming to America. I can watch it, the first one, of course, um, over and over. It just cracks me up every time. So I'm super excited, if you can't tell, that I'm, the second one came out today. It's what about been, you? It's been forever since I've seen it. I need to rewatch that, but <laughs> oh, obviously, good. before I watch the, uh, the oh, sequel. Um, oh, gosh. You know, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Caddyshack, all that. So many good ones. Hunt for Red October has been on recently, and mm -hmm. I, I, I'll watch that. Shawshank Redemption, you mentioned that one earlier, too. Just yeah. so many of those good, good movies that you, if they're on, right, you'll watch. Watch them. So let us know, because um, that may give us some ideas on what to watch. Because sometimes you're going like, there's nothing on TV, there's nothing. Exactly. So you gotta watch a movie. So, so yeah. what movie can you rewatch? Let us know on SA Live KSAT or uh, Twitter and Facebook. Because a lot of folks are going to be watching movies at spring break, and a lot of staycations are going to be going on here. And if you want to, you know, you can't just keep the kids all cooped up. You got to try something really special and something very special. Ooh, a big snack, and we're not talking about anything. Look at that. Oh yeah. my goodness Ooh. gracious. Yes, delicious. Lauren Cuevas, the owner of Ice Ice Baby, Hi. joins Hello. us. Welcome. Thank oh. you. All right, and you've on. been in business for how long now? Three and a half years. Fantastic. It's going great, yes. I know. Oh, it's got, and so it's what are we, away. I know, we got to get into the, the mood here, but we have some mangonadas, so, right? We're going to be making mangonadas, but not just any mangonadas. We're going to be making Ice Ice Baby mangonadas. So we're all about customization. So I'm gonna let you guys get the full experience and pick whatever you want to put on top. So when somebody comes to the store, yes. they can You get, get the, the cup. We actually have eight flavors of Italian ice, but today we're going with mango. That's uh -huh. my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna put fruit candies on top. I chose today the all fruit. It I'm looking at yours. Yours looks beautiful. It's a little like, bit look of all the fruit. Yeah. I was it's, like, you can top yours yeah. off. It looks like a piece of art, and that's one thing that you love, yes, right? Yes, I love to make art. I love to be detailed. So every item, I try to incorporate that. So all these little flavors in here, we've got gummy bears, we've got hot Cheetos. Yes. Go down the, the list. We do gummy bears, gummy worms, gummy sharks, and all of that tastes so good together. Mm -hmm. You might not think it is, but... It's this weird combination with chamoy. It's just like amazing. I love it. I like so what good. you said. Some people, they come up, their customers come up with yes. the creations and you're like, okay, well, I'm that like, sounds great. That looks amazing. We're going to put that on. Yes. That's how a lot of our uh, creations came about. Has anybody ever said, I want this, 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 and this, and you've gone, eh, Actually, you Actually, yes. I've had people mix gummies in their milkshakes. I've had people put chamoy on vanilla ice cream. I'm like, we can do it for you, wow. but... Okay. I don't know how it's going to taste. That sounds like it might be kind of good, chamoy on vanilla ice cream. Maybe. I've never tried it. I haven't personally tried it. But, but it's different. I, it's different, yes. And that's what we're all about. What do you got going on there, Jane? Yeah, we got all sorts of stuff I going know. On I'm there. just kind of having fun with it. Like you said, it's like good, art, yeah. right? But I like what you did with the fruit. Yes. So you guys have a big announcement as well, right? Coming yes, up? Yes, actually. I Size Baby number two is coming up within the next month. And we are right next to MacArthur High School. And, yes. and why did you pick MacArthur High School? Because I'm a Brahma. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Brahma. Yes. <laughs> Go Brahma. And Mike had this cool idea earlier, right? That maybe you can yes. do something for that. We need to do a there. Brahma item. I have a little special for the school. You'll have to come up with that that ice cream. I do. That, something that's blue. Yeah. Something blue. Yes. Mm. 
I'm very excited about that. And what is your favorite part about being a business owner, would you say? My favorite part is that I get to make art and people like it and they come and get it and you get to eat it. It's edible art. And I've, I love art. I love to be creative. So it's it's so fun. I love it. I love what I do. And also you like to be creative as far as showing things on uh, Instagram and all yes. the uh, social media I too, right? I love taking pictures of my items. I'm like, oh my God, that looks amazing. Let me get a picture. I do that when customers come in and they make an item. I'm like, wow, I need to post that, that looks awesome. Yeah, that's so, how our Instagram came about. And you're so good on Instagram, you guys have almost 30,000 followers, We're about to hit right? 30,000 followers, yes. And your original location is where? 2113 Bandera. I love, yes. look at the, all those creations, and what's really cool, this backstory about your mom yes. meeting your dad. My dad. You wanna share that really quickly? Yeah, so my mom and dad actually met when she was working at my grandpa's snow cone shop, and they met, they fell in love, and now here we are with our own. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That's fantastic. I know, that it's connection. amazing. We're like 24 years later, and it's tied back. I think Grandpa's way, watching, right? Grandpa is watching, yes. By the way, Bandera Cross Street is? Evers, Evers right Road. there, yes, okay. right there. That way people know where it is. Yes. So, you know, this just kind of gets you into just the mood here, yes. having a Megan Spring like break this. mood. Yes, summer fun mood. Yeah, fantastic. Right For more information That's on Eyes Eyes Baby, just go to our website, salive.com, and click the as seen on salive.com. Okay, that just hit the spot. <laughs> All right, after you grab your treats, you know, where do you go then? How about heading over to the zoo? Yes, Fiona will take us there today. She got a preview of the big jungle boogie break that kicks off tomorrow. Exciting. Well, the San Antonio Zoo gets even wilder for spring break. And here to tell us all about the roaring good time your whole family can have is Hope Roth. Of course, this is great. And you've got, let's start with the food, the drinks, and all the fun. I know, who doesn't love good food and drinks? So Jungle Boogie Break is going to be happening here at the zoo starting March 6th. And we've got Ruben with our culinary team making a little treat for you, Fiona. And this is our chick and funnel cake. You can also see here we have some amazing drinks that are going to be available. This is the Dino Rita. That's a true combination of dinosaurs in San Antonio. And we also have our Raptor. Lots of fun. So not only can you bring the big kids and the little kids, we've got something for everyone. There's over 20 dinosaurs all in the zoo. They roar, they move, they're larger than life. And then this year we have a special new special something called Dragon Forest. It's on the other side. No one's ever been there before. This is a first and we have over 16 dragons that also move and roar and there'll be a whole village, food, drinks, entertainment. It's gonna be something for everyone. Such a treat for the kids too, to see those dragons moving and roaring. Great Instagrammable opportunities too, right? Absolutely. And they can take some of these guys home. So at our gift shops here at the zoo, you can get everything from our plush dinos and dragons to the figurines. Everybody loves a good dinosaur. Okay, you. so this is the? Chick and funnel cake. <laughs> and this will be at our Snackaroos location. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes, good, good, good. So thank you so much, so much. Spring break is coming, and Jungle Boogie Break will have DJs, music. It's a safe way to bring your kids out for spring break and enjoy the animals and enjoy the dinosaurs here at San Antonio Zoo. Okay, well, of course, besides all the food and the drinks and the dinosaurs here at the San Antonio Zoo, there are, of course, all the other animals and Sarah Escobedo, animal care specialist joins us. Who do we have here? Hi, um, this is Twig. He is our Eastern Screech Owl and he's one of our rock star ambassadors here at the zoo. He's been around for quite a while with us. Um, he came to us as a rescue in 2004. Um, and being a Screech Owl, he is a native species here to Texas. Uh, so he's wonderfully adapted to this environment. And of course, even though he's very, very small, he's an excellent hunter. Um, so as you can see, as he's gripping onto, he's got those really nice sharp claws. Yeah. And those talons are what he uses to hunt. He's also got a nice little sharp beak right in front. Uh, and that also helps him to tear apart his prey. So birds are really awesome, especially with what we have going on this summer because they are the descendants of ancient dinosaurs. So kind of perfect to have modern ancestors uh, of the dinosaurs here at the zoo. Of course, we've got a variety of birds, not just twig included. All right, now we have someone else over there, right? Yes, 
Uh, so of course, perfect to tie in with dragons, we have Gia. She is a Cuban rock iguana, and this species is native to um, Cuba as well as the West Indies and other islands of the Caribbean. Um, this species is incredible. These guys will eat a variety of vegetation that's found on the coastal lines, so lots of salt ingested into their bodies. And one really cool adaptation that Gia has is she can actually expel excess salt out of her nostrils. So she can't really breathe fire, but that salt does come out. So sometimes you'll see a little bit of white just around the nostrils when she's getting rid of that excess salt. Yes, yeah, and great to see her, especially with the dragons. Yes, yeah, and <laughs> she's got so here. many cool different features. They almost kind of look dragon-like with right. those scales and those spikes all down her body. Um, she's got that really long whip-like tail, which is a great natural defense system for them, and also aids in swimming as well because it acts like a rudder. So come on out to the San Antonio Zoo for Jungle Boogie Break. It runs March 6th through the 21st. All you have to do for more information is head to sazoo.org. And just looking at Sarah Spivey's forecast from uh, the noon show, Gorgeous. it's going to be perfect next week for heading out there yes. to the uh, zoo. And like uh, Fiona just mentioned, don't forget, Jungle Boogie Break at the San Antonio Zoo starts tomorrow and goes through the 21st. Perfect timing and what a cute owl. Yep. Still ahead on SA Live, don't have the kids sitting around all spring break. When you can send them to camp, check out Here in Town. That's teaching children an important skill that you might not even know. And next, be one of the first to check out the newest vacation spot in town. We are getting a taste of what you can experience in a brand new Riverwalk hotspot. That's straight ahead on SA Live. SA Live, the downtown skyline has changed once again. The Thompson San Antonio Hotel has opened along the north end of the Riverwalk, bringing a new hotspot to the Alamo City. Look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I'll tell you what, wait till you try some of the food here. <laughs> Jeff Steve McHugh from Landrace. Couldn't wait. <laughs> he noticed. You know, it, it's reporter involvement. I had to test this out. Landrace Restaurant showing us some of the uh, wonderful dishes that you have going on here. First of all, let's get right to it. What what am I just well, enjoying here? It's, uh, uh, it's Friday, it's Lent, so we're making a little crab pasta. We've got a uh, garganelli pasta that we make in the restaurant from locally milled uh, semolina flour and uh, lots of cream and black garlic that you see here in the pan. And we're going to add our pasta and our crab is already in there getting, getting nice and flavorful. And so. this is just a little bit of heaven here. So. And how much input did you have in, with the creation of the restaurant? Oh, a lot. Oh, yeah, definitely. We've been working on it for probably a year and a half now with the ownership group and uh, really, really we're open to uh, a lot of our ideas and, and the design and menu and everything like that. It was a really fun project to be a part of. And you mentioned that you like the pasta made from semolina flour milled mm -hmm. locally. And yeah. also that's kind of the, the whole theme about the restaurant too is it's we're yeah. South Texas and yeah. that's what we got for yeah. instance. Some of those big cuts of beef there and pork. Yeah, it's really a, a celebration of all things Texas. We call it uh, Texas terroir and we are working with a lot of ranchers, farmers, producers, fishermen, millers, um, and just really celebrating what's great about our region uh, throughout the entire menu and the drink menu. And part of that is the wood fire grill, yeah. like you mentioned, that is so Texas, right? Would yeah. you say? <laughs> yeah, very Texas, and it's it's on display. You can see it from the dining room, and, and everybody oh, loves taking pictures. Yes. And uh, it's, uh, it, it is a sight to behold, and, and, and a lot of our menu comes off that grill, whether it's uh, cheese or vegetables or even a salad we have that's uh, You mentioned the lasagna, right? Lasagna that you make comes there? off the grill. We do um, our cheese, a cheese plate off the grill. It's so much oh, fun. I know. <laughs> do you know like, here? like we were talking about, you know, at home, you'd much rather put a burger on the grill or a steak or yeah. a salad on the grill outside instead of in your oven, and that's what you do there, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's why we're there, right? We all want to taste that wood, a beautiful smoke that comes off it. We use a mixture of mesquite and post oak, and then you just taste it. it, it it's, it's absolutely amazing how much... Uh, that, that smoke really, we miss it in our food. We don't get it as much as we would like. And if Steve uh, looks familiar, started Cured Restaurant, five-time James Beard Award <laughs> wow. finalist. That's some pretty good bragging rights there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not bad. We, you know, Cured's doing great, and we're, we're happy to, to grow and, and uh, do this new project and be a part of it and really be a part of the, the growth of uh, culinary in San Antonio. 
Well, let's go ahead and talk about what you have here too, because this all looks amazing that you brought. And this is part of your lunch special. You also have breakfast. Yeah. You're finishing off the pasta there. Breakfast, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm sorry, breakfast and lunch seven days a week, dinner Tuesday through Saturday. And so like our burger that you see here is a Wagyu beef burger, uh, comes off our grill. We've got our pork chop and our uh, uh, Wagyu beef strip loin. It comes off our grill. And then, like I said, carrots, broccoli rabe, uh, all different fun sides. Okay, the mashed potatoes, describe those. Oh, we, yeah. call them, we call them ham palms because it's a mixture of uh, mashed potatoes and pureed hominy. And then we put in two different types of cheese, butter and cream. So it's really fun. You get that corn flavor. Um, it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit more San Antonio than, than just mashed potatoes. And you've only been open now for a week, right? One week today, yes. How's the, how are people liking it? Right. It's been very busy. So far, so good, it's right? been a hard <laughs> reservation to get. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, it's, been, it's been very well received. A lot of our locals and a lot of our friends and, and uh, a lot of the folks that know what, who we are and what we do. And we just saw some fun facts on the screen about you. So can you tell us more about this, these awards that you've won and why? Well, <laughs> well I, I haven't won one yet, but I've been a finalist, been a finalist. for a James Beard uh -huh. Award five uh -huh. times. And uh, it really is uh, an amazing feat that, that uh, it's, it's great for San Antonio that national eyes are putting, putting uh, an emphasis on what's happening in our town. And it is so great to have another place to, for a staycation, for some great, great food. And if you'd like more information, <clears throat> excuse me, on Landris Restaurant, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And reservations, what, about a week out now? For dinner, yeah, At but least. breakfast Delicious. and lunch, we're ready for you. So good. Chef. Thank you, Chef. Of course. Thank, Thank you, you very all. much. Still ahead on SA Live, your list of must-try restaurants for spring break keeps adding up. Check out this brand new place to get some over-the-top hot dogs and burgers. And next, while the kids enjoy the break, maybe you should consider their education. There's a different type of school in town. It is tuition-free. What you need to know, that's next on SA Live. Well, of course, there's still a few months to go in this school year, but a lot of area schools are already gearing up for the 21-22 school year, and Idea Harvey E. Nasium College Preparatory is currently accepting applications for the 2021-22 school year. And here to tell us more about this school is Principal Stephen Foster. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, most certainly. Okay, what are some of the things folks should know about Idea Public Schools? Idea Public Schools is the fastest growing network of tuition-free pre-K through 12th grade public charter schools in the United States and currently has 28 schools right here in San Antonio. The focus at Idea is preparing students for college and life. In fact, for the past 14 years, 100% of our scholars have achieved college acceptance and have matriculated to college and are still on track to do it again this year in spite of all the challenges that our families are facing this year. Wow, that's a fantastic statistic. Okay, so where is Idea Nasium and what can you tell us about this particular school? Idea Nasium is located on the east side of San Antonio on South WW White Road, right across the street from the HEB on, on WW White. Idea Nasium is still new in our community. We have only been here for four years and are still growing. However, in that short amount of time, we have made our mark in this community by partnering with our local food banks and our local businesses in order to ensure that our families in the community that we serve are taken care of. Also, majority of our staff members were born and raised right here in this community and are passionate about giving back to the families that we serve on the east side of town. By sending your scholar to us, we will ensure that they get to and through any college or university of their choosing. Okay, so aside from that great record that you talked about right off the top, what makes Idea School Middle School program different? Yeah, so as a middle school, as we know, middle school prepares scholars for success in high school. It also serves as a pivotal moment where many of our scholars are developing their passion and interest. At Idea, starting in sixth grade, scholars are getting ready for AP for All. That program starts in ninth grade. They will take an, an, either a pre-AP class or an AP class in every single core subject. So that is reading, math, writing, science, and humanities, any course that they take throughout high school. These rigorous courses positively impact a scholar's overall readiness for college through challenging assignments, diverse course content, and college level expectations. While IDEA's academy program promotes collegiate awareness and attainability for all, our college preparatory program starting in sixth grade 
intensifies college readiness, not only through rigorous instruction of core subjects, but also through the education of the actual logistics of applying to college. So we're gonna help scholars apply for financial aid, apply for scholarships, writing their statements of pur purpose, getting all of the recommendations needed to get into any college or university of their choice. Very quickly, are there still spots available at Idea and Agem and how do parents uh, get their kids enrolled? We still have spots for the 2021-22 school year. Parents can visit us at www.ideapublicschools.org slash enroll to enroll their child. We're pumped about having your scholars join us in the fall where they'll get the best education here on the east side of San Antonio. I love the enthusiasm. And once again, for more information on Idea Public Schools, give them a call at 210-239-4900. And to enroll your kids, visit the website, ideapublicschools.org slash enroll. Steven, great chatting with you. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, it's Friday, so why not have a cocktail? We're back at one with the newest, hottest spots near the Riverwalk to see what sippers are serving. Looking for an idea for spring break camp for the kids? Something that can always come in handy in life. We are going to talk about sewing with Abby's Attic. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, instead of having the kids just sit around the house during spring break, how about a camp? They can learn something that is extremely important for crafts and just getting through every day in life. And Jen Nicolello from Abby's Attic is here, our dear friend. Thank and you. you have got a sewing camp, right? We do. We have sewing camps for ages 8 to 16 next week. Um, we have lots of easy beginner projects. They can pop in for half a day or a full day or all week, whatever whatever the parents need and want. Um, we provide snacks, the whole bit. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, And just learning these basic skills, and we were talking about how important it is even sewing a button on. Yeah. My son called me from college, and you said you had a friend that used to charge five bucks to sew yeah. a button on, right? <laughs> so why not learn it? Easy peasy. I mean, make, make easy money on the side. Why not? Looking at all of these things, and you said these are some of the beginner projects that these they do? These are all beginner projects. Okay, what is this? Yes. So that is a little wrist saver for mm -hmm. your keyboard. So when the kids are on their Zoom calls all day for school, they can just rest their wrists on there while they're typing, um, use it as a brace for when they're using their mouse. It mm -hmm. just kind of keeps a little bit of comfort on the wrist. Okay, and you've got all the instructions. So you've got this all set up here and the lines are drawn, right? Lines are drawn. So I can so just start going to town here. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, you got to turn it on. I oh. forgot. <laughs> Where's the switch? Oh, there, there it is. There it is, okay. sorry. That always helps to hit the on button. So Mike is just making a rectangular version of this little guy. We're going to make him in camp next week. But you can do this with just a piece of fabric that's about um, 12 inches by maybe 18 inches, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the width of your keyboard. And um, it's just really easy to do. So at that point, sorry. Yes. Okay, no, I was going to say, all right, using a sewing machine, how young can kids be to use sewing machines? Well, it depends. We start them at eight, but we've had them as young as um, six and a half or seven. Oh, wow. But we recommend starting them at eight because they have the attention span, the fine motor skills, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And that's the big thing that you always advocate, not only just using a sewing machine, but actually needle and thread. Yes. Because so many times with kids using phones, they don't get that little intricate right. you know, eye-hand coordination. Right. And it's using really digits. important. Those, those little muscles get atrophied when they don't use them. So it, fine motor skills work is good for um, handwriting for future you know for mm -hmm. like two or three year olds they need to work those fine motor skills so they can strengthen this muscle right here it helps for writing okay some of the other fantastic uh, things that you're gonna make this and I was so amazed at this great little pouch it could be an iPad holder make it bigger mm -hmm. a laptop holder and you said this is one of the beginner projects that, that they is learn? a beginner project we're gonna do that one as an afternoon mommy and me or you can just pop in as a solo learner mm -hmm. um, ages 8 to adult and yeah it's a beginner project it's all rectangles and all straight seams, but you get some cool skills in there like um, learning how to sew a zipper, you're going to work with some purse hardware, learn how to do boxed corners, turn tubes, the whole bit. And think of the money you can save from putting alterations <laughs> down the road in life, or like I said, just sewing on a button or sure. two. Uh, you're celebrating a birthday as well. We are! Five five years this month. Yay! Abby's Attic is five years old. Yay! And you've been sewing for 30 years? Yeah. So she started in elementary school, I obviously. I did. I started in the womb. <laughs> and <laughs> you got quite an honor too, right? Yeah, I got invited to be a presenter for an international sewing summit, so I'm really excited about that. It's going to happen in May, so we'll, we'll put more information out as we get closer to the date. Alright, if folks want to 
to sign up for uh, spring break camp. Yep. Obviously, it's just it's next week, but yep. still still room to. We still have room. Yep, we still have room. So they can go to abbeysatticsewingschool.com. They can give us a call, and we'll happily register people online or on the phone. Either and way. other than spring break, you also I mean just have classes that all you can the teach. Time. Yep, that's all we do. We specialize in teaching sewing. So. And I can attest to the fact that if you have a sewing machine and it needs a tune-up, <laughs> she can do it. She did mine, and it runs like a charm it right does. now. It does, yep. I have to learn more sewing techniques, but at least <laughs> my machine works fantastic. So, all right, well, if you'd like more information on signing up for Abby's Attic uh, Spring Break Camp, and like you said, it could be a couple of hours, half a day, all, all week, week long, mm -hmm. whatever fits into your schedule, Correct. just go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Always great seeing you, Jen. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks for having me. Next on SA Live, hot dogs have gone gourmet. See how a brand new restaurant here in town is putting a whole new spin on this classic meal. But first, we're going for a ride along with KSAT local expert, John Wayne Service Company. Good morning, y'all ready for this? Hey, I'm Andrew and this is A Day in the Life at John Wayne Service Company. Almost, you get put on a priority list in case there's something goes wrong. Hey, good morning, Brian. So this system gets an A plus and my day starts off with dropping off my daughter at school. Love you, baby. Hey. Have a good day, okay? So I just got my bin out of the truck. We're gonna go put in my bin of parts into the warehouse so they can go ahead and restock my stuff for me. And then we're gonna head into the meeting. All right, so right now we're gonna head out to a customer's house. Uh, they are as well part of the uh, rescue club. Do some annual maintenance on both of their systems for them. Mr. Rod? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm Andrew with John Wayne. Good, how are you? Good, good. Nice to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. So we just got upstairs to the attic on the first system. Like I said, this is gas, so we are going to check for gas leaks first before we get started. Once I do that, check airflow real quick. We're going to go back downstairs and get some water and nitrogen. We're going to flush out the drain line to make sure nothing's restricted. All right, so we're out the outside unit now. We're going to go ahead and check out the refrigerant. We're going to check out all the electrical that goes on with the unit. Once we're done, we're going to take the fan off. We're going to go ahead and wash the unit, give it a good bath, make it look nice and new. We just want to make sure everything's operational. Again, we're out here for a yearly maintenance. We want to make sure that everything's going to be functional when we leave and that they're not going to have any issues anytime soon. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you all on the next one. Welcome back to SA Live. They call them the tastiest wieners. You have never a hot dog, an egg on a hot Wow. Hey, New Loca, I'm, I'm stunned by this video here. <laughs> New Loca restaurant isn't just adding wild things to hot dogs themselves. They're pretty special too. Oh yeah. Now David Elder continues his foodie journey tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Texas Eats, but we get a sneak peek right now. Now we're here north of San Antonio in Stone Oak to check out a brand new hot dog spot that's cranking out not just hot dogs, they got burgers and chicken sandwiches. Let's go inside the dog house. Joining me now is John Bird. He's the director of operations out here at Dog House. I'm super excited to be out here. What is Dog House? Where is it from? Dog House uh, was originated in Pasadena, California back in 2010, so just celebrating the 10 year anniversary in 2020. Uh, Adam Gertler is our worst mocker. So our sausage maker. Is that what that means? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, good. For all of our people in New Braunfels, they know what a, a worst mocker is, right? They got the German heritage over there. But I'm super excited to dive into this. Um, this one right here, it looks a little spicy. What do you got going on? So that is our T-Mex. It is a uh, beef chorizo sausage. Uh, we then top it with our chipotle ole. We put uh, two avocados on there, top of our house-made slaw, a little bit of black pepper, some jalapenos to provide a little bit more heat, and then top it off with those red peppers, still delicious. 
one in the middle here. You got some jalapeno action going on. This is a bacon wrapped hot dog. Can't go wrong with bacon wrapped hot dogs, that that's for good. sure, yeah. right? Then we top that with some caramelized onions. We then put jalapenos on top of that. We then go over it again with, once again, our chipotle ole, and then top it with some cotija cheese. You got me a bacon wrapped hot uh -huh. dog. All right, so I'm going for this one. Absolutely. A nice toasted on the outside as well, on the bread. bacon on anything, it's going to be delicious, but the bacon wrapped hot dog that they have out here on the menu, it's next level. Crispy bacon, you get some of the jalapenos on there, caramelized onions, it's a little bit spicy, it's a little bit sweet, and it's really good. We're going to jump over, I know it's called the Dog House, these look fantastic, but you also have a burger on the menu, talk to me about what's going on here. It's our hangover burger, Creekstone, 100% grass fed, Angus beef, coming, you know, it's just top quality delicious beef. We have uh, our mayo on there. Yeah. And we put the beef on there with the white cheese. We have the bacon on there. You got to have the chili. <laughs> it but here we it go. Off. You got the egg. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about, and it's good for hangovers. It's absolutely <laughs> great for hangovers. There you go. <laughs> This is what you eat on a, on a Sunday morning right here. And that's your kind of Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, take a bite. Mm. Ooh. Good. If it was a long night, you need something to pick you up in the morning, you get the hangover burger. Absolutely delicious. You got the fried egg on there. Nice and yolky, creates the kind of like that second sauce. A Little bit of chili. And then the bun on the outside is that Hawaiian bread, so it's a little sweet, and it's just a really good bite. We do have impossible burgers for, for our patties, you know. Um, and then we also have the Beyond sausages. So we have two options for that. We have the Beyond Brat, and then we have the um, So Veggie. Right next to it, this is a beast. Man, that is a big sandwich. What's the name of this one? That is uh, One Bad Mother Clucker. Shut your mouth. <laughs> So we have two of our tenders that we take. We batter those in our house-made batter. We then put it in our in our house-made flour. We put our miso ranch on each side of the bun. And then we put our three <laughs> dill pickles. So it's oh, not, okay. your, not your normal pickled chips. So it just adds a little bit of a different flavor to it. This is big. Oh yeah. Look at that. It lives up to its name. All right, big sandwich for a big guy. Here we go, I'm gonna take a bite. just make you hungry. I'm I mean, dizzy I, am, I know. <laughs> Don't forget to watch a full hour of the brand new Texas Eats tomorrow 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. There is a great new place in town if you're looking for a, a little beverage to sup on. As a matter of fact, there's three different places in that hotel and uh, we're going to check them out, make some cocktails here and make some plans for a weekend. Well, welcome back to SA Live. Well, it is the newest place in town right there on the north end of the Riverwalk. And boy, there's bars in there, there's restaurants, and the man in charge of all the uh, good little cocktails to make. Zach Shore, beverage manager at the Thompson San Antonio, joins us. Right. And brand new, it just opened up, right? Just opened up last week. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Okay, we've got a couple of different uh, libations here yeah. and this these are all inspired by you said yeah what's, so what's this being served first the one you're making right? it's called the sin and smoke it's uh at landres uh, is our is our restaurant downstairs in the hotel mm -hmm. uh, all the drinks are inspired using the same ingredients that uh, the chef is using chef steve McHugh. Um, he really likes to use mesquite flour uh, it provides a nice sweet and nutty flavor along with uh, it goes really well with the whiskey. And you and said the whiskey's been infused in that The whiskey's flour. been infused with the mesquite flour, so you get that nice flavor in there. It's a really, it's a really nice riff on an old fashioned with a few ingredients that you're not used to using. So. And, and it's called Sin and Smoke, right? Sin and Smoke, yeah. <laughs> you're typically not supposed to mess with the whiskey, so that's where the sin comes from. Ah, yeah. okay. And I love the uh, the little stamp that you can put on the uh, the giant ice cube, which is nothing absolutely. like a cocktail. Which one did you choose again? I choose Joy. Joy, absolutely. Because we're going <laughs> to have Joy in drinking this. 
Next, we have the, I love these, lazy days at the Cenote Pool. And this would be only if you were a guest at the hotel or one of the residents there, right? Correct, yeah. At Cenote, we have, uh, we have a pool that fits about 70 to 100 people. Uh, we will be doing events uh, from time to time, open to the public for a ticket. Mm -hmm. um, but really at the pool, we're just looking to give you a good time, have uh, some fun, tasty drinks. Uh, that are crushable and uh, look pretty. Uh, exactly what you want to drink when you're sitting next to the pool. Yeah, where did you get? Where do you get your inspiration when you come up with a new cocktail like this? Well, for that one, I uh, that one the inspiration actually comes from Alice in Wonderland uh, from the yeah the really? the song. Uh, you can learn a lot of something from the flowers. Uh, all the ingredients in there have something floral to them. Um, and lime so, in here right now? Uh, or after? Nope, no lime on that one. Sir. Okay, just shake it up yeah. and shake it up and pour it in. You got it. Uh, so yeah, they sing about a lazy daisy and uh, daisies come in all these different colors. So uh, I thought the Empress Gin that uses pea flower, uh, makes it purple, uh, would be a nice little touch to put into that drink. Okay, is that a great color or what? <laughs> And you just and any pick flower a you flower. like, however you're feeling, whatever All your mood right, is. We'll go with that one. I think that will contrast Perfect. very well. And last but not least, this is one the uh, rooftop pool bar has not opened up yet. So this is the debut, right? Right. This yeah. Cocktail? So what are you the Moon's Daughters up on the roof is a is up on the 20th floor of the hotel. It's inspired after the Greek goddess. Uh, it's uh, the Greek goddess of the moon, and uh, the, cocktail, the cocktails we're going for there are just uh, really fun. Um, this is fantastic, by the way. I'm glad you like it. Uh, fun and whimsical is what we're going for at the roof. We'll have live activations uh, all the time with live music, and uh, and we'll have aerialists, and you know, just a lot of fun. The food menu up there is, in, uh, is a Mediterranean inspiration, inspired by uh, chef, our executive chef Robert. Can too. Okay. Um, he comes from us uh, from all over the place, uh, but we really enjoy working with him. And um, he's got right. some good, tasty things to make for you. If you like more information on the Thompson, uh, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Hey, Monday on SA Live, she makes cakes, cookies, chocolate surprises, pretty much anything you can think of. A local baker is putting her special twist on springtime treats. Mm. Plus, we're celebrating International Women's Day with a beautiful handcrafted jewelry made by one woman. That's Monday at 1 o'clock right here on SA Live. Earlier, we asked you what movie can you rewatch over and over. Kirsten, hey, Kirsten says the holiday, you've got mail and a good year. Those are good ones. Grease, yes, Dirty yes. Dance, yes, The Sandlot. Thank you, Jessica. Julie, The Goonies, ooh, that's a good one. Love my 80s movie, Beaches or Steel Magnolias. Ooh, Is that for my wife? Selena <laughs> and yes, love it. Philadelphia, League of Their Own. Ooh, thanks for reminding me. fantastic yes. ones. Hey, don't forget. So kind, cake. dropped off some delicious food for us to try, and you know the kids are gonna love this. I mean, funnel cake, chicken strips. Be sure to go check it out. Happy Friday, y'all.